Lily's ready. It's Adriana Grande. There she is. There she is. Look at her. <laughs> All the recovery. <laughs> Oh, Lord, why are you in Diesel's chair right now? I <laughs> just realized that we haven't really formally introduced Whitney oh yet to the vlog. <laughs> that is ridiculous. All right, so let's go five fun facts. Favorite sports team? Patriots. Okay, favorite food to bake. Whitney's a baker, by the way. Cheesecake. Cheesecake, nice. <laughs> um, questions? Favorite Harry Potter character? Dobby. Dobby is free. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Love it. He just wants some hearts. Um, favorite animal to wear? Favorite animal to Animal wear. print, sorry. Animal, <laughs> animal <laughs> print. <laughs> like a Cruella de Vil. <laughs> animal print to wear? Foxes. Okay, foxes, cool. And then one more question. Oh, man. Favorite boss? Oh, <laughs> man. It's a tie. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, all right, another pen coaching segment. This time we're doing it for the bench press. Lauren's doing her powerlifting training right now, so she's just setting up for the bench press. Uh, a couple things I wanted to address. So as Lauren gets down into the bench press, um, a lot of people get concerned about a big arch during the bench press. And we're not too concerned about that, especially if it's this global extension of her upper back, mid back, and lower back are all contributing to the extension. And now this would be the difference if there's no extension coming from the upper back and a lot coming from her lower back. This is what we don't want. So Lauren, go back to more of that global extension pattern. And then again, like I said before, she's already supported by the bench, so we're not too concerned about lower back safety. And secondarily, because of the sport, it actually shortens the range of motion by keeping your chest up tall. And then finally, if her back was totally flat on the bench and supported, most likely her shoulders would pop off. So that's the big thing we're concerned about. We want to we want a pretty big arch so that her shoulders can stay back and down in a stable position to actually support the barbell. All right, so now as Lauren goes through the lift, I'll uh, show you what I'm looking at. Is that bar perfectly stacked from wrist to elbow as she lowers down? One more, Lauren. Also checking from this angle as well. Is the bar stacked? Perfect. Thanks for the long pauses. Did some uh, impromptu pause bench press. Pen coaching. Pen coaching. <laughs> Morning. Ah. Oh! Reflex is like a cat. All right, so I wanted to talk about Fitzy for a second. And Fitzy is that video installment series Lauren and I were discussing in the last episode. And the series is called Fitzy, Fitness Made Easy. And the whole reason why the series came about was because what we realized is that fitness has become this very unapproachable, very difficult thing to do. And it's interesting because you don't really see this happen in many other industries. Like, let's say I wanted to play guitar and I saw someone on my news feed scrolling through social media um, playing some sort of guitar riff, I would most likely be pretty inspired. And if I was inspired enough, I would reach out um, to an instructor and get lessons and know that I'd probably get better. But for whatever reason, for the fitness industry, um, 
what we see is that most people think they see something online or they see something in magazines and they think to themselves, I can't do that or I can't look like that or I can't do this because of whatever reason. And we think that the main reason for all this is because the fitness industry itself is built upon making money off of these insecurities. They feed into those insecurities and perpetuate them. And these insecurities are being perpetuated because of these magazine covers and these Instagram news feeds where people are meant to look a certain way and it's so unrealistic of what actual life is like. No one's ever in this photo shoot where they're dehydrated or photoshopped or put in the best possible lighting and every single minute and every single post and every single cover. And instead of empowering or educating or instilling confidence in these people that are trying to live a healthier and fitter lifestyle, they continue to pound them with these unrealistic images and these unrealistic solutions as well. Because there's a lot of money in terms of feeding insecurities. So there's a lot of money in magic pills like weight loss pills or those, um, those belts that you see that are supposed to give you abs or these cleanses and things like that. Like you would never see a guitar player on Instagram having this sort of product placement right here that is some sort of magic oil for someone's fingers to play better or some magical wrist strap that makes them play G chords better. Like it's just not a thing they're gonna tell you to put in the work and practice and to trust the process and enjoy it and not sell them on phony stuff. And that's the reason why we created Fitzy. That's the reason why we're putting out so much content in the first place. We wanna help spark a change within the industry to not feed on insecurities and that make it so that fitness is much more approachable and hopefully instill enough confidence in people to start embarking on their own fitness journeys.